Hello. How Hello. are you today? How is your Saturday going? We had a great time. We went cycling to ECP and it was such a great weather mm. in the evening. It was drizzling a bit. Arab was on his scooter. We were on our cycle. If you're new here, this is Arav. Hi, my name is Preeti and we bring to you story time and this is story number 82. 82. Wow. Um, this is storytelling, not time. Okay, we are going to say hello to all the friends who we already know and who are saying hello to us in the comment section. If you are new here, say hello to us and let us know where are you from in the comment section. And here we go. So we got a compliment, pinky pinky. Inky pinky pinky pinky. Do we look good in pink, guys? I'm not pink, it's, this is red and white. All right. And that's pink. Hi, Nira. Hi. What is the story? How the leopard got it. Spots. Spots. Have you, has anybody seen a leopard ever? Hi, Samriddhi. No. Not in real Hello, life. Hello, Manya. I haven't seen a leopard in real life, but I've seen many fake life leopards. Arav has seen many fake leopards, but not a real life leopard. Yeah, what about real life me? on TV. I have also never ever seen a I've leopard. Seen like only Hi, I've seen only like cardboard on TV, people laughing as a leopard, and people laughing as um, a leopard stage. Or not really a real guy. I think, Ara, huh? uh, when you go for jungle safaris, or you hmm. really go to jungle, then you see a leopard. Are we ready with the story song? Yeah. Okay, what is shaking today? The magic hoodie. The shaking. magic hoodie is shaking. shaking. The magic hoodie is shaking. The magic hoodie is shaking. Want to see the magic potion? Yes, please. Uncle Dabra. How the leopard got its spots. He loses spots one day. <laughs> All right. I use the story. Here's the story. Arav already gave me the story and I'm going to give it to you. How the Leopard Got His Spots is, is written by Rudyard Kipling and Stephanie. And the beautiful pictures are illustrated by T.G. Now, a long time ago, there lived a very plain leopard named Henry. Henry did not have any spots. But... That was normal back then, since the other animals were plain as well. Hey, that makes me think, which all animals have spots or stripes or any patterns? Which animals can you think of? See, leopard has spots. And um, um, zebra has stripes. Yeah, and a giraffe, it has spots. Giraffe has blotchy spots. Any other animal can you think of? A dog. Dog also has spots, some of them, right? Cat, okay. cat has some stripe because they belong to the cat family just like the tiger, right? Any other animal? Can you think of any other animal who have any patterns on their skin? Snakes have yeah. scales. Any other animal? Um, Cow has like big those patches, right? Frogs? Frogs yeah. don't have any spots but they have slimy skin. Yeah. And toads, they have um, bumpy, very bumpy skin. Cheetah. What does cheetah have? Um, a cheetah has um. What does cheetah have? Stripes. Cheetah has stripes. I'm yeah. not sure. Can you tell us, Shashwati, what does cheetah have? A deer. Mm, deer is plain, isn't it? Mm. What does deer have? It has some spots. It has some spots. Mm. Cow definitely has spots. Goat has spots too. Any other animal? See, we got snakes. We got cheetah. We got leopard, we got cow, we got frog. Frogs are slimy. Zebra. Okay. Zebra. We got giraffe. That's and dogs. Six. And, cat, and dogs cat, cat. and cats. We got eight. Any other animal which has any spots Deer or any pattern? Goat. Deer, I'm not sure, has any pattern or any spot. Can I check for deer? Deer does not have any spots. I want to show you. Oh, some of the deer have spots. I just saw a spotted deer. So we got nine. Wow. Okay. Meanwhile, if you can think of any other animals which has any patterns or spots, do let us know in the comment section. Going back to the story, when all the animals were plain. plain. 
the giraffe was plain, the zebra was plain, and so were many others. Mm. Henry was so plain that he blended in with the sandy colored rocks and the sandy colored tufts of grass and the sandy colored sand. So he blended everywhere. Mm -hmm. This was fortunate for Henry since he liked to sneak. This was unfortunate for his friends since they could not see him sneaking. Mm -hmm. Henry would sneak up on his friends, zebra and giraffe, and spook them. Eventually, Henry's friends decided to move to the woods. The woods were much better for hiding from a sneaky leopard mm. because he blended so well mm. with the with the sand, with the trees. It was so difficult to spot the leopard. Mm. After some time, the shadows created by the bushes and trees, it changed the animals that lived in the woods. Mm. Hiding partly in the shade and partly in the sun, the mm. animals, they grew patterns. Mm. Now giraffe grew blotchy, and zebra grew stripy. So now we know how did the giraffe and the zebra got their patterns. Mm. What about the leopard? How did the leopard got its what spots? What about the dog? What about the dog? Let's find out what all they will cover, okay? Meanwhile, Henry was getting quite bored. Where have my friends gone? He wondered, how can I be sneaky? Hey guys, you know, this is how you can sneak, be sneaky as well, like this. Or like this. Ooh, ghost, he, Henry thought, Henry the leopard, he thought, how can I be sneaky if there is no one to spoo? Can you alone play hide and seek? No. Of course, you need people to seek you, right? Yeah. Then only there is any sense in hiding. Yeah. Can you play hide and seek alone, guys? Um, no, no. We cannot play hide and seek alone. But we can play um, tag alone. How can you play tag alone? You tag yourself and you run, is it? <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Okay. So Henry said, how can I be sneaky if there is no one to spook? Oh, you I can... just really love spooking. You can spook his cubs. Henry, he, he is going to try to spook the cubs. Let's see what will happen. Henry was frustrated. He looked around for someone to play with. But when he tried to spook the other leopards, they took no notice. How boring, isn't it? Yeah. Finally, Henry resorted to spooking any critters who could find. Now, what are critters? Mm. Small animals like mm. rats and beetles, rock rabbits and mice. But these little guys saw him coming because these little guys are so little and Henry is so huge. Huge. So these little guys mm. always saw him coming. Coming. And they just laughed. Mm. It was not fun to play with them because they were not getting spooked. spooked. When you spook somebody, should they laugh or should they get scared? Get scared. But these guys were not getting scared. <laughs> then a little mouse suggested, Henry, you need to try another spot. Go. Find your friends and leave us alone. Henry did not know another spot, but he liked the idea of finding his friends again. So he went off searching for a new spot. Will he find a new spot? Let's find out. Henry ran and ran and ran searching for his friends. 
he studied his surroundings carefully, hoping to see the long neck of the big tall giraffe and the swishy tail of the zebra. But they were nowhere to be found. How frustrating it is when you're looking for somebody again and again and again for many, many days, but you mm. cannot find him. Mm -hmm. I wish I had asked that mouse where the new spot was, thought Henry, because it was getting very, very frustrated mm. to be not able to find the new spot. Hello. Eventually, Henry came upon a magnificent cluster of trees. Do you want to see the cluster of trees? Yeah. Let me make the image wow. bigger for you. There were spots of light from the sunshine okay, that wait, made... Wait, wait, wait. Is this um, the zebra and this is the giraffe? Yes, Arab spotted them. Did you spot the zebra and yeah, the giraffe? That's so sneaky. Yes, because they have patterns now but that's a secret Henry doesn't know about it yeah? yeah there were spots of light from the sunshine mm -hmm. that made their way through the trees and bushes yeah. but mm -hmm. it wasn't enough to see clearly yeah mm -hmm. because some of the sunshine was getting mm -hmm. what should you say obstructed or hidden mm. by the mm. bushes yeah yeah though henry could mm. not spot his friends henry felt like he was close he you know that feeling when you feel like when you want to go somewhere or you want to achieve something you feel like oh you're very close you're going to get it now yeah mm. when you're doing a math problem and you're getting it wrong again and again and again and finally you feel like oh you are almost about to solve it yeah mm -hmm. even for adults for us also Arab sometimes mm -hmm. we are stuck at something mm -hmm. like you know I'm doing a pose in yoga or I'm doing a dance move and I'm stuck then I have a feeling oh I'm getting close now I can get it do you get that feeling ever guys do you ever get that feeling like you're very close to achieving something it's mm -hmm. also like a gut feeling do you ever get it Mm. What about you guys? Do you ever get a gut feeling that you're very close to achieving something? Have, yeah, never have I ever, right? What is it for you? Have you ever or never have you ever? What? Oh, mute. What? <laughs> okay, Arab does not know. Now, Henry definitely felt like he was close. Mmm, he thought, I know that smell. Henry said to himself, <laughs> sniffing the air, I smell giraffe, but I cannot see giraffe. Hey, 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 he's looking here. But the giraffe is obstructed by the shadows, right? Yeah. And the trees. So mm -hmm. Henry couldn't really see the mm -hmm. giraffe. He thought, why can't I see my friends? I'm sure they're here somewhere. But the flickering sunshine makes it hard to see. Mm. And the shadows confuse me. Oh, Arab, Henry was not used to the shadows. Hey, why? Yeah, he might look at his own shadow and he might think that, oh, who's this animal? At night, well, there might be some shadows. Yeah. yeah. And so Henry decided to wait until dark. When the woods had fewer shadows, he curled up on a rock to rest as the daylight faded into night. When the crickets began to chirp, Henry hopped up. He was ready to sneak. He sniffed the air. He definitely smelled zebra. Then he listened to a scuttling in the bushes. He definitely heard Zebra. Henry got into his sneak stance and then jumped. And he said, 
caught you he called happily as he tackled the animal to the ground he definitely felt the kick of zebra so henry definitely smelled zebra mm-hmm. definitely heard zebra and definitely felt the kick of zebra he said get comfortable we are not moving until morning when i can see you said henry i need to know for sure that you are my friend zebra oh i have missed you so much said mm-hmm. henry to mm-hmm. zebra yeah mm-hmm. in the morning henry could make out the creature underneath him more clearly but mm-hmm. what does henry see it was covered in stripes wait a minute J- just a minute he said you i don't understand you smell like zebra you sound like zebra and you definitely kick like zebra but you don't look like zebra what happened to you zebra said let me up and i will show you relax henry have some patience then zebra called for giraffe and their other friends mm-hmm. come help me show henry how the shadows work one round of hide and seek henry you come to 10 and then henry hid his eyes and he started counting from 1 to 10 why is he counting from 1 to 10 again for hide and seek But why is he playing hide and seek again? Because his friend Zebra told him. But why did his friend Zebra told him? I don't know. Because they wanted to show Henry how does the shadows work. And Correct. Why did they want to show Henry how the shadows work? Because Henry wanted to know how did the zebra got his Swords. stripes. And how the zebra got his how, stripes. How 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 did 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 how 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 how. Okay. When zebra no. when henry opened his eyes he stared in wonder then he squinted his hardest squint but he could not make out a single creature henry said astounded i cannot see you zebra happily said isn't it amazing we blend in with the woods henry frowned now what am i to do i found a new spot but i don't blend into this spot how will i sneak because all the others are now blending into the spot and henry cannot see them because all the other animals they have got some pattern right yeah yeah that's why they can easily hide Zebra said to Henry, "Stay here, Henry, and enjoy the woods. Soon you will also blend in like we do. What kind of markings do you want? Tell me." Henry pondered a moment, and then one word came to his mind: spots. I want spots, and so Henry took to hiding. in the leaves of trees and bushes mm. let me make the picture bigger for you you can mm. see the trees and bushes can you see that green picture yeah henry hid over there and can you see the spots between yeah. the trees and bushes yeah 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 so henry took to hiding in the leaves of trees and bushes letting the sunshine hit in spots upon his skin, skin. After some time Henry noticed he kept his yellow coat but he began to have blurry spots round 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 blurry spots all over him they were perfect for a super sneaker by the time Henry could sneak upon his friends again he no longer wanted to 
spook them anymore. So from that day on, he kept the spooking to a minimum and used his sneaking skills to become a champion at hide and seek instead. And you know what? What? He still holds the number one spot yes. at hide and seek. So. That means nobody can find Henry because he's so good at hiding. Sneaking. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Are you ready for the quiz time? Yeah. I know the quiz. How did he um, Why does the guy have so sharp eyes? No. <laughs> The quiz for today is very easy. First quiz question is, what is the name of the leopard in this story? I know it's very easy. I know you know the answer. I know you know the answer. Wait a minute. Let me also ask you the second quiz question, which is also very easy. If you know the answer, write it down in the comment section. So the first question is, what is the name of the leopard <gasps> in this story? Did I say loud? No. And the second quiz question is, who are the leopard's friends? Which are the animals? There are two animals, okay? Which are the two animals which are leopards? Friends. And there you go. You can answer the quiz questions in the comment section. And Arab is going to whisper it in my ears. Arab got it all right. Two points for Arab. All right. I'm still waiting for your answers, okay? Now, Arab, listen. I'm, I'm going to mm -hmm. just share with you the moral of the story, okay? Mm -hmm. It seems like the leopard lost his friends when he treated them unkindly. Yeah? Mm. When he was always spooking them. When they didn't want to be spooked. Mm. But then later on, mm. they welcomed him into their new spot. And then at the new spot, mm. he decided to change. And how did he change? Instead of spooking, he started playing Hide and seek, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So have you ever changed the way you treated someone? Um, yeah. Okay. Can you share with us? Mama, she whispered in my ear. Don't whisper in my ears. It's not a quiz question. Um, you just share with us if you have, you know, changed the way you treated somebody because please? they did not like the way you treated them. Please, my whispered in my ear. Okay, you can whisper. So, I'm getting correct answers. Minakshi, I mean, Samriddhi is right. Shiba is right. Correct. 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 Lovely. Okay, nice story. Thank you so much. So, Arav did share with me an incident where he treated his friend unkindly. Yeah, and then he started treating him with respect and he started sharing this I stuff. Said family. Yeah. I also want all of you to think about any time when you treated anybody unkindly or you know you started treating anybody differently than the way you treated them before. Okay. Think about it. And come here. Let's say bye. Mr. Come. <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow with story number 83. If you're new here and if you have missed all the other 81 amazing stories, you can find them on our Facebook page, Babzaras, or you can also find them on our YouTube channel, Babzaras. All right. We'll see you tomorrow with story number 83. And if there's any special story that you would like us to uh, share with you, mm. do let us know in the comment Maybe section as well. Okay. Story I would like um, you to share. Okay. It's called Night Boy. Night Boy. Okay. Okay. We'll look into this. Bye-bye, guys. Tata. Have a great Sunday and Saturday, okay? We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>